We are on Daybreak once again. We are in a Protoss versus Protoss. And to the top right of the map, we now have our Protoss player in the orange. He's down two games so far in this up and down group. It is. Complexity Killer. He has to win. He has to win this game. If he wants to have another chance, he has to take a win against Ace. Ace currently on 1-1. One, one. And starting to the bottom left of the map, in the teal, we have the Star Tail player. We have... Starting Ace. This is a terrible map for Blink Stalker uh, base trade type scenarios. Like, you cannot backstab your opponent and blink into the main base. There's not any space. PT plus D... I don't know how to pronounce that one, but... Uh, I, I, try, I looked at it, I tried to pronounce it, I couldn't see what the rest of the sign said, but either way, <laughs> uh, I'm sure he, uh, he's trying to represent somebody out there. Always good to see you. I hope his friends are watching, that's probably their nicknames. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm sure they are. Well, at this point, very identical build orders from these two players. Like I was saying before, Blink Soccer's or Backstab is very difficult to use on this map. Because there's no real space, but if you want to go for Blink Stalker push to punish an expansion, you can do that. That is something that, that is possible and that we have seen in the past. Colossi builds seem to dominate this map just simply because it's the safer late game composition because Blink Stalkers cannot really base trade on this map. Not well, anyway. The one thing that I'm a little bit worried about when it comes down to Killer's chances of winning this game is that in the past he has shown... Yeah. I, I, I like Killer. I love the guy. I've been uh, clubbing with him. I am uh, really good friends with him. But the thing is, even he agrees that he is horrible against Protoss. His statistics against Protoss are really, really hard to, uh, hard to watch because Ace has a 57% win ratio. But Killer, on the other hand, he has 41. He lost most of the games that he played against Protoss. In the recent past, he did not face too many... He didn't have to uh, play in too many mirror matches, but he lost to Yata at MLG. Don't even know who that is. Yata? I have to admit that I have no clue. He is a very good Protoss player who actually has a hearing disability. Um, he's quite famous for that, yeah. Oh, okay. Definitely a uh, um, lack on my part, but I've not heard his name before. I actually can't remember. I used it. to practice with him, so okay. that's how I know him. That's cool. Nice. He's good that really you are. Cool. It's very nice that we complement each other so well. Yeah, man. Perfectly. So, okay, we know a little bit about Yata now. He has a hearing disability. And isn't that really, really a huge problem when you yeah. play Starcraft? Uh, he's been able to just use the minimap, though, to uh, wow. to basically... I mean, That's he's not he's not 100% uh, unable to hear, but it's very difficult for him. So he's learned to use the minimap. He's a very fast player. He's able to react well. Uh, there's a, a okay. interview about it, actually. Oh. You can look up. He was he was able to win against Killer. And yeah. also, Huck was able to against, against Killer in the GSL. We had Brown defeating him. And I'm just I'm just trying to find a game where Killer actually won a game against Protoss. But I can't, I can't come up with one. There I, are very few. There's a 3-0 against Hazorbs that dates back to uh, like the early stages of March. That's all that I can find um, right now. But yeah, this just shows that Killer really struggles in this matchup. It's yep. going to be a tough one. He has to break this curse at some point. Maybe he's able to pull it off against Ace. Ace is going for a very fast robo compared to his opponent. And he has saved a ton of Chrono Boost. He's now using it on his Nexus. Uh, when his probe count is actually already basically reaching full saturation, that's kind of interesting. He will also chrono boost his observer out. I mean, when he only has one gateway, what else can he use his chrono on? It's kind of useless to actually use it on uh, the probe gate research. And uh, at this point, uh, Keller is showing me funny pictures on his tablet again while I'm trying to commentate StarCraft, but I, I have to admit it was really funny. Um, I mean, Immortal coming out for Ace here. That is the one thing that I was just shown by, by Gom, guys. Um, Gong TV is doing such a great job lately, not only with all the uh, of, uh, um, of record shows, but just uh, tweeting about uh, some pictures of goal players and uh, just giving you some insights. So if you actually have a look at Gong TV's Twitter, at Gong TV, you can also just check out at Caldo at Proxy Wolf, I will, will retweet it later. They just do a really great job and they just uh, posted a, a tweet that was actually so funny, it was hilarious. So I'm sorry, but I just popped out on my uh, popped up on my screen while Wolf was explaining us about the chance in the matchup, and I had to kind of show him. I'm sorry for that. It's fine. 
don't be sorry. Ace well, is... Bow is nearly done, by the way. Yeah, he, Ace is going for a expansion using these Immortals to hold. Since he got his Robo so early, he may be able to have enough Immortals to hold against Killer's uh, Colossus push that's likely going to happen here. But Killer, actually, with his Nexus timing, could just not attack. But the timings here are a little bit awkward for Killer. It's much better for Ace right now. It's going to be really important if Killer decides to attack that Ace is able to use his Immortals appropriately, that he's able to focus down uh, his opponent's Stalkers and also, of course, the uh, Colossus and is not focusing on Zealots. Might sound stupid. Wow, that was actually close. It might sound stupid and pretty obvious to uh, say that, but the thing is that in the past we've seen a lot of games where Protoss players didn't do this. Yep. And Killer was one of them. I specifically remember a uh, match on Entomb Valley where he did not target appropriately and suddenly lost the game that he should have won. So uh, this is this micro, this unit control in these battles was is that really what it comes down to. Yeah. yeah, the game against Creator. I, exactly. remember, I remember that. I just remember the game where Creator was supposed to, to lose, but he won, and then he was able to get into uh, Codess as a result. We see the Observer is actually stalking the obs other Observer at the side of the map. And there is the Robotic Support Bay going down for Ace right now, who is getting a second Robo, knowing his Colossus count is going to be behind. Because if your opponent gets a faster Robotic Support Bay than you, but you have the Nexus faster, you can afford double Colossi faster, so you catch up. It's it's just how it goes. This is one of the most passive PvPs that I've ever seen. Yeah, this is, uh, you know, if PvP is not an aggressive, crazy early game. It's a very boring uh, and long mid game where neither player feels comfortable to attack because the defender's advantage with Colossi is so huge. Your opponent with the defender's advantage will almost always have better Colossus count than you and better positioning. So your your willingness to attack is usually extremely low. Like why would you attack when your opponent has all those, those things stacked against you? And the odds are in his favor. Why move out? I have seen a crazy, crazy and very entertaining late game PvP on Daybreak between Wydra and JYP. I knew that's what you were going to mention. Yeah, I, I love it. I love it. I love this game. I will ever, I will always remember it. You can ask me in about five years time and I will still refer to this one match. It was just incredible. And on this map, I mean, if you have this really like passive early game, you are most of the time you're really rewarded later on. We might even see a huge, huge Colossus count, maybe even the Mothership. And that's the type of games that I really, really love in PvP. I wonder if, well, Killers either the late, either the, sorry to interrupt you, but either the late one or just Blink Stalker builds, which you already pointed out, yeah. are not really perfect not, on this map. Not the best build, uh, build to do on this map. I wonder if Colossi can walk over logs. Like, if they walk on a log, do they like fall over? You know what I'm talking about? Like, there's like a, a bunch of logs on the ground, and a Colossus tries to walk over it. Can it balance, or will it fall over? On a space map. Uh, on uh, just a space if, log. Well, if someone just puts a log on the ground, like for example, <laughs> if a Terran <laughs> wants to defend against Colossi what? and he sets up a bunch of logs, <laughs> the stalkers I, and the zealots can walk. Where do you the get logs. the wood from? Log. What? You don't know what a log is? Yeah, a tree trunk thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah but there about. are no trees on on daybreak. Right. Oh, you said wood. I think you said word. I was like, no, well, no. I was like, you know what logs are? Okay, yeah. so uh, you would have to bring it. You would have to prepare it <laughs> somehow. <laughs> You would the have thing to is, bring like some wood. The thing is uh, that because Colossi are actually huge, uh, you would need a really big log. So you would have to, you would maybe you would have to make an artificial rod of some kind. Ed, I, I don't know. That's I mean, wouldn't the Colossus, because it is so heavy, just crush it? Well, probably, but it might. When it crushes, it might also fall. I don't know. Well, I, I never thought about it. I mean, nobody's ever thought about this before. I know David Kim is actually getting so many ideas right now about a Terran log structure that can be made to prevent Colossi from walking. Just some kind of Terran unit that throws bolas at Colossi, tangles up the feet and makes the Colossus topple over. Yeah, that's a good idea as well. They could even get this speeder type unit that has tow cables that can ironically be used uh, You to are watching too much Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> Um, well, probably a couple of people out there will now be, what? You can watch Star Wars too often? That does not, that is not true. No, it's not, man, actually. That's, that's my opinion on this matter. We can see the unit counts are almost identical here. Ace with a slightly better worker count, but his opponent having a Nexus up a little bit faster. Ace is trying to be a little, uh, he's trying to be a bit more aggressive here. He's getting a wall prison. 
And with the War Prism, he might be able to arrest it. Even the speed for the War Prism, so this will help him out quite a bit. And we will see how well Killer defends against this. Yeah, I, I think basically what it's going to be for is for like warp in backstabs, where if you move out, your opponent can just warp in six zealots and kill a bunch of probes, force you to turn around. If you don't turn around, then while you're kind of using a shot, you might even lose some of your production. While we're talking about uh, ways to take down Colossi, there's always one thing that I would really like to see. Uh, I mentioned it in the past, but I don't think I ever talked to you about this. I wouldn't actually love an upgrade for Colossus that they can hat but Vikings. Yeah, you told me about that this. That would be so funny. I don't like that. <laughs> because... <laughs> the animation would be so cool. Just think about how many comics we would have with Vikings being there like, Yeah, Colossus, what you gonna do? And the Colossus looking angry like, Booyah! Well, the Colossi can... Uh, the Vikings can still kite the Colossi though. It wouldn't work. Think about that. It's a surprise attack, Wolf. It's a surprise attack. Well... <laughs> okay. Alright. I'll give you... Okay. I mean, the first time it give ever happened... Give me my headbutt. I, well, not literally, that's, not but up, that's not up to me, but I, if I were able to make the decision, I would at least make the, I would have Blizzard make the animation just so you could see it. Just okay, for you. fair enough, that's all, that's all I need. I know all that's I all want. you want. Well, and all that Here Ace Here comes needs, that Warp Prism man. Oh, look at this, he's immediately, he's already uh, spawning it with the, with the probe and the buildings that he built to the left. But the Warp Prism is in here, immediately the Warp in by Killer. Wow, this was so fast. Yeah. And he's just got so many minerals to dump into this. Yeah, but he needs Killer's more. in trouble. Yeah, he has another few zealots harassing his third base right now. And to the top, the War Prism tries to get away with four zealots and he will drop them at the natural. This is actually a lot of damage that Ace is dealing here. I really like this aggression. I really like it as well. He is cleaned up, but he eliminated a lot of probes. Ace now takes the probe loop 64 to 55. The War Prism does get chased away, at least initially here. But something to note is that basically the probe count is still pretty similar. Let me give you guys all the unit numbers. Seven Zealots to seven. It's nine Colossi to seven in Ace's favor. Um, a few Archons out for Killer, but Ace has Templar to make into Archons. He just hasn't made them yet. A few more Zealots warping into Harass. Ace is now on four bases. He has the four bases against three. Killer is being hard pressed. This war present definitely proving to be a problem. Yeah, he's he's actually really failing to deal with this. He actually sent units away from Zealots warping in. He's like just one Aing his army. He lost 19 workers in total. This is a lot. So his economy is really hard pressed here. At the same time, he's defending now with cannons. But Ace is in a great position. Yeah, he is. He's a little bit behind in overall supply though. The worker supply is in favor of Ace, so Killer's army size is a lot bigger now, and this might be important as Killer is pushing out right now. He's not hesitating any longer. He wants to do some damage here. It's going to be close. The Colossal count is 7 to 9, nine in favor of Ace. Yeah, in favor of Ace, man. And if he actually has the better concave as the defender, he will win this fight every time. I mean, there's, there's not much that can be said about it. However, the upgrade advantage is heavily in favor of Killer. 2-2 two -two against just plus 2 or plus three just finished. So it, it's all going to come down to how the engagement goes. With plus three versus two, two, it's still pretty good for Ace. He needs to get into a good concave, though. His Colossi need to be doing all that damage. Uh-oh, going in, and we have the wall of the worlds right now. And both of them dropping in supply, reinforcing with units immediately. The upgrades are making a huge difference here. But Ace with a higher count in Colossi is just now going for it. He's clustering his Colossi up though, which is really bad. And Killer and Ace, this is so close. But the warp in is ready. And these Zealots actually take down two of the Colossi. Killer on the back foot, even though he has the better upgrades. And still a lot of units for Ace giving chase here. Yep, and Killer, he will defend now. Backs off. Meanwhile, our, let me give you guys the new updated count of Colossi. It's 3-2, to two, Ace's favor. He's got two Archons out as well here. Still has the better worker count and better mining. Look at the resources at the top right as well. You can see he's a little bit ahead, 400 to 100 in minerals, and uh, the gas fairly similar for both players. You can see he's now starting to get his armor upgrades, whereas Killer is getting plus 3-3. Three, three. It's about to finish. Ace is so slow with his upgrades here. Does he have energy on his next side? I feel like he has, but he did not chrono boost his forge well enough, did he? He's not doing it. He has a ton of energy. He's starting to chrono boost a little bit. Could have been doing it a little bit more, uh, a little bit earlier. War Prism coming back into the main base. Killer is gonna be under fire again. He only has one cannon. 
Ah, Killer is going in right now. Ace has to defend here. He has the Colossi is doing the damage that he needs to do, but will it be enough? All these Archons There's against so the Zealots. There's so many Archons here. This will here. happen so much. A ton of Archons here. And wow, they sure do a number on Killer Zealots. And suddenly the Colossi That's are without it, support. GG. Killer is now 0-3. And this also, this also was the last hope for MMA. MMA and Killer, they are out. Yep, they're both out. Puts us down to just four players left in this group. Uh, the, during that attack, there were actually Zealots warping into the main base as well. He was basically just being torn apart from all sides. Killer... Really disappointed here. It, Killer is not good in this matchup. No. I mean, Unfortunately, he's not. It's a bit harsh, but at the same time... No matter time, how it's, he it's plays true. it, if he plays the long game, he plays the early game, it's it's a tough one for him. I feel like at this point it's also a lot of about psychology. It's just every time that he has to face a Protoss player, there has to be this huge mental block for Killer that he feels like whatever he does, if he plays greedy, if he tries to go for it, whatever he actually tries to pull off, that he will not win, really win. It's just such a tough matchup for him. He, ta I talked to him before the group started, and I said, you know, do you feel like you're going to win today? And he, he seemed pretty confident, you know? He's not a guy who always, he's not like, some players, you know, you ask them if they're going to win, they always say yeah. Some players, they always say no, but it's like not worthwhile asking them. But when you ask Killer, like, he'll tell you legitimately what he thinks. And he said, yeah, I, I think so. And, well, he's 0-3, he's out. Tough, tough day for him here. His teammate Hart uh, is doing a little bit better, though, in the group. It's 2-1, and, uh, well, the problem for Hart is the next uh, player that he has to face is the strongest in the group. It's the only one who was able to win all of his matches so far. Hart is going to face Marine King in the next match. So the next three, we'll, we have a quick break, but after the break, we will have three games, which is Marine King Prime against Hart. We will see Boom Boom Prime against Ace, and we will see Killer against... Well, I don't think that we are going to see Killer against MMA. <laughs> they might stick to the schedule, but this game does not matter. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't matter anymore at all, so I think we are going to skip this, and uh, we'll probably see Hart against MMA instead. I think they will change the order a little bit. We actually can talk to them during the break and uh, let you guys know as soon as we are back. We have a five-minute break now, and then we will be back with the next match at the Up and Downs, GSL Up and Downs, with Kellen Wolf.